Now I have the honor and privilege of introducing our May commencement speaker. Vince Clark is Vice President of Business Development and Chief Corporate Affairs Officer at Creative Planning LLC, an independent financial advisory firm in Overland Park, Kansas. Prior to joining Creative Planning in 2015, Clark held several executive and senior management positions in domestic and international finance at multi-international banks. He also served as corporate treasurer at H&R Block, Kansas City, Missouri, and as an entrepreneur of a capital markets boutique advisory firm. Clark is the vice chair of Park's Board of Trustees and will ascend to the role of chair in July. He's also the past chair of Park's Civic Advisory Council. He earned a master's degree from the University of Minnesota Twin Cities and a bachelor's degree from the College of Charleston. Our commencement speaker, Vince Clark. Thank you, Interim President Smead, Chairman Pranger, trustees, faculty, staff, graduates, and of course, friends of Park University. Please join me in congratulating the graduating class of 2021 and their parents and family members who have joined today in celebration of their achievements. Graduation is an auspicious occasion where we traditionally gather in pomp and circumstance to commemorate this milestone. So it's an honor for me to be here, particularly in this capacity and this circumstance, to enjoy the privilege of sharing some of my thoughts and life lessons with you. Of course, we collectively acknowledge that today's pomp comes with a unique circumstance, one that humanity only seems to encounter every 100 years. My theme today is, it doesn't matter where you come from, it only matters where you're going. It's in this context that I'll tell you about my life's journey in the hope that it resonates with you in a meaningful and relevant way. I stand before you today as the incoming chairman of Park University's Board of Trustees. I've traveled to 35 countries, 44 states, and lived in seven U.S. cities. I have friends all over the world from Hanoi, Vietnam to London, England and elsewhere. I've enjoyed a coveted career on Wall Street financing some of the most iconic corporations in our country and around the world. I served as a treasurer of a Fortune 500 company and now as a trusted advisor to one of the fastest growing and arguably most successful independent financial advisory firms in the nation. I've been privileged to support numerous charities and civic organizations in Kansas City and beyond. And I look to the future with optimism. It doesn't matter where you come from. It only matters where you're going. I was born in the Deep South under Jim Crow laws and lived in a segregated neighborhood. For those of you who may be unfamiliar, Jim Crow laws legalized racial segregation in the United States. They lasted almost 100 years from the post-Civil War era to around 1968. The purpose of these laws was to legalize the marginalization and deprivation of African Americans. As a child, my activities were largely confined to a four block radius. Within this geography were my church, school, doctor, dentist, grocery store, playground, and friends. In retrospect, I suppose the limited geography was fortuitous since my family didn't own a car and nor did most of my neighbors. In fact, we weren't able to afford an automobile until I attended high school. It doesn't matter where you come from. It only matters where you're going. My dad dropped out of school in the third grade to work on a farm to help support his family. My mom didn't finish high school, but was able to advance to the 11th grade. My mom was the matriarch of our family. Despite her limited education, she was my teacher and preacher, the paragon of wisdom and guidance. My dad was kind, loving, and resolute, and the family's enforcer whenever the kids misbehaved. The highest income my dad ever earned in any year was $9,000 or about six stimulus checks in today's parlance. 
and that earning occurred the year before his retirement. I never thought of myself as poor or underprivileged. These are terms that were introduced into my consciousness much later in life. As a child, I was required, not encouraged, but required to be respectful to elders and authority. I recall my neighborhood as being safe and friendly. Everyone knew everyone else. There was an orthodoxy that any parent could reprimand and discipline any child from the neighborhood who was out of line or disrespectful. I was the first in my family of five children to go to college. It doesn't matter where you come from. It only matters where you're going. I attended a small college in my hometown. The total enrollment was less than 400 students. As a freshman, I was required to wear a dunce cap. On the first day of school, I encountered a fellow freshman who, unlike me and all others, held a book under his arm. Since neither classes nor registration would start for another day, I was brimming with curiosity and a healthy fear of missing out as to why this freshman already had a book. I approached him and asked, why do you have a book so soon? He said, oh, this is just something I'm reading on the side. Thus spoke Zarathustra, Friedrich Nietzsche, existentialist. I said, what did you call me? He said, hi, I'm Hugh. I'll graduate from the college with a 4.0 in history. Then I'll get a PhD in Chinese from the University of Chicago. That'll take eight years. Then I'll get a law degree from Harvard University. That'll take three years. Then I'll move to China, teach and practice law. Then he turned and asked me, what about you? I said, Hugh, frankly, I don't know whether to punch you or drop out of school. We shared a big laugh. From that moment, Hugh and I formed a friendship that is lasting to this day. Over the years, our paths and interests have invariably converged and diverged, but our friendship has endured despite superficial differences between us, such as height, weight, race, religious and political affiliations. It doesn't matter where you come from. It only matters where you're going. Oh, did I mention that Hugh graduated from the college with a 4.0 in history? received a PhD in Chinese from the University of Chicago in eight years and finished law school at Harvard University in three. Hugh, move, Hugh moved to China and taught and practiced law for most of his career. He's now retired, teaches part-time at an Ivy League university and is writing a book on cricket fighting. Yes, I said cricket fighting. You know, those winged nocturnal creatures that contribute sound effects to our nightscape with cacophonous chirping. Intrigued by Hugh's literary pursuits, I asked a series of questions. How do you train crickets? How do you select them? How do you provoke them to fight? Is there a special diet, age requirement, and many other questions? Hugh promptly replied, read my book. Well, I discovered that cricket fighting dates back in China 1,000 years to the Qing Dynasty. It has remained a popular pastime in betting sport to this day. Hugh, at age 18, knew where he was going. I, at age 18, didn't. In retrospect, I recognized that there was a substratum of determination, a raison d'etre, if you will, that we shared and cemented our fate and friendship. It doesn't matter where you come from. It only matters where you're going. COVID-19 has come to us like the proverbial thief in the night and stolen our normalcy. For some, this may have dis diminished your sense of optimism, but don't despair. The pandemic is but one of many challenges you'll face in life. Your journey will be filled with surprises, bumpy roads, twists, and turns. Park University has prepared you well for this pilgrimage. You have great tools with which to forge ahead. You're endow endowed with credentials in higher education training in critical thinking, competency in technology, and more. It doesn't matter where you come from. It only matters where you're going. I stand before you as the incoming chairman of the Board of Trustees, having the honor to address you today. Yes, me, the son of grade school and high school dropouts, and a product of a provincial childhood environment. My journey has been imbued with bumpy roads, unsuspecting twists, turns, and challenges. 
You're not born into a predestined station in life. You're randomly assigned a starting point. And much like a hand that is dealt to you in a card game, you have to play the cards you're dealt and play to the best of your abilities. It doesn't matter where you come from. It only matters where you're going. We all have been challenged under the pandemic to adapt to a new normal, regardless of who and where we are in the journey of life. On the one hand, COVID has disrupted many of our comforts, and yet, on the other, it has unwittingly given us cause for reimagination and renewed optimism. Many of us have formed stronger interpersonal relations with friends, family, and loved ones. Corporations and governments have collaborated to rapid advance a vaccine to suppress transmission of the virus. Already, almost 100 million Americans have received at least one dose of the vaccine. Science and technology have made transformational changes across several fronts, from unhackable internet and hyper-personalized medicine to blockchain technology, digital currencies, and more. You can be thankful for a college education. You can be thankful to be a graduate of Park University. You can be thankful for the core values Park has imparted to you. You can be thankful that you're uniquely positioned to make the world a better place in which to live. The world is changing rapidly and learning is continuous. Never stop learning because life never stops teaching. It doesn't matter where you come from. It only matters where you're going. Graduates, you may take refuge in knowing that it truly doesn't matter where you come from, but the question I leave before you to ponder is this. Where are you going? Thank you, God bless you, and have a great evening.